Hoffman, who's been around the sport for a long time. At 205 pounds, I mean, does not seem to be. No, he looks in great, he looks in good shape. I mean, you look, he doesn't look like he just got off the couch. He looks in shape, he looks ready to go. He's fired up for sure. The referee giving a little precautionary wipe down. And here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Jason Mayhem Miller, back after a four year hiatus, here to compete in front of all you Venator fans tuning in around the world. Let's see how this unfolds. This is a three rounds fight for the Venator Fighting Championship. And it is a catch weight at 207 pounds. And now, introducing the fighters. Fighting out of the blue corner, this man holding a professional record of 12 wins, two losses, and two draws. Standing six feet tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Italy, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former Venator Fighting Championship middleweight champion, Mattia. Item skill And this guy looks as cool as the other side of the pillow as my man Stuart Scott would say he's ready to fight. Fighting out of the blue corner, this man holding a professional record of 23 wins, nine losses, and one no contest. Standing six feet tall, weighing in at 207 pounds. Fighting out of the USA, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the challenger, Jason Mayhem Miller. Ooh, makes review from the fans. They're not happy that they're not, they're not seeing him fight. Lorenzo Luke Barnett Sparkle. calls me. I was looking forward to that fight. All right, announced as a 207 pound catchweight contest. They weighed 205, they weighed again this morning and were not allowed to weigh over 207. That is why it was announced that way. They didn't want Mayhem Miller to be much larger. Of course, Sia Valen had already weighed in yesterday at 185 pounds. And this is a guy in Mayhem Miller that fought all the way down at 170 up to heavyweight. So he's been around the block in terms of weight classes. Spent time training at King's MMA. He's a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. Competed anywhere and everywhere, including the UFC, Strike Force, WFA, WEC, and Dream. Holds wins over Tim Kennedy, Dennis Kang, the legendary Sakuraba, and actually has a win over the current UFC welterweight champion, Robbie Lawler. Incredible. Mayhem Miller inside. He is a name that has been around for quite some time. The big elbows inside as he works on the single leg. Definitely the much bigger fighters you can see, posing his size and his frame, really working for that takedown. Shivalin defending against the cage. Shivalin lose to Luke Barnat in December at Venator FC2, but if you saw that fight, Shivalin was, was handling Luke Barnett pretty handily in the opening two rounds, uh, and then would eventually lose in the fourth via submission. Yeah, this is, uh, he's a very tough guy. Definitely uh, the toughest replacement they could have found on this short of notice for Mayhem. He's here to fight. Yeah. Mayhem got a body lock. Certainly calm against the cage there as Mayhem Miller position he's familiar with. Oh yeah, he's been here a million times. I mean, it's hard for me not to eat. I've watched him host Bully Beatdown, and I just watched him land a really hard groin strike. I'm surprised the ref didn't see. <laughs> Mayhem rolls his eyes a little bit there. Circles off the cage. I see that his corner man, Matt Horowitz, finally put his book down. He's actually watching the fight now. Another tough. It, uh, another interesting story right there on, on his own. Oh, dude, Matt Horowitz is super tough. He's from that vintage, old school Team Quest team that had the likes of Chris Wilson, Matt Lindland, Chael Sonnen. The list goes on and on. Another guy that's been around the world, fought the best and beat the best, just like his uh, teammate and friend, Jason Miller. Miller controlling from the outside right now. A little more than two minutes gone in this opening round. You know, a lot of credit should go to Matea for having a totally different opponent change. No, I, I would like to know how much cage work he actually had during his camp because he's stuffing a lot of takedowns from a much bigger opponent. Very impressed with his takedown defense against the fence. You hear the crowd shouting, Mattia, trying to encourage the Italian fighter. I'd like to see him push off and disengage. 
Let's see him. Let's see him put the work in that he put against Barnett. Stop. Stop. He'll get some assistance there from the referee in doing exactly that. We'll reset in the center with a little more than two minutes left in this first round. Ooh, man, just rushes forward. Big hook. Matei lands a big hook. A big hook as Miller comes crashing in, trying to close the distance with that clinch. To no avail has it worked out for him as Matea has controlled this position from the fence and from the offensive position, putting Miller against the fence. There's that outside trip. You know, it's funny, for a guy that used to fight at welterweight, I mean, Mayhem does not carry the weight bad. No, he doesn't. He actually looks good. He looks in shape. You know, I don't, I think that he trained for this fight. I just don't think that, uh, I don't know if he missed the memo or what. I just don't think cutting weight was part of his MO for this fight. Top position remaining in this opening frame. It's been a bit of a stalemate through most of it. But now Mayhem is in top position. Skivaline does work towards. Mayhem up on his feet, posturing up. Gonna smash past his legs. See as he, as he flares his chest up, bumps his hips in. Big right hand there. Right leg is in there. That's a little good. bit of defense. Looking good, John. Blue looks good on you as I see you in the broadcast. <laughs> Mayhem passing side mount, selling his weight down. Now, if I was Mayhem, I would really make him carry my weight in this position, impose your frame, impose your size, wear him down, and that's exactly what he's doing right now. This has got to be a tough position to be in if you are Matea Schiavallen. Big knee to the body. 20 seconds left in this first round. I definitely think Mayhem stole this round with the takedown, controlling, side control, and top position. Hey, he's got an arm triangle position there, but there's just no room for him to try to move over to the other side. Certainly can't get the squeeze from there. No. Definitely. Fortunately, just trapped up against the cage, nowhere for him to go. So end of round one, Mayhem Miller pops up. He was in top position. Mike, you said it. Uh, I think he took it with, with the late work. Yeah, I think he definitely did. You know, if I was in the corner of Matea, I would tell him to move. You rounds because his game plan is simple. He's gonna bum rush you, close the distance, lock his hands around you in some way, shape, or form, and drag you to the floor and get on top. So you gotta move, you gotta prevent that. Use your footwork, get on your bike, move around. Yeah, it can't be willing to work in that clinch position. You think that favors Mayhem all day. It's hard to avoid, you know what I mean? When you're a clinch fighter, like I can relate, I'm a clinch fighter myself. When you know how to make the entries into the clinch, it's hard for a guy to avoid. You gotta be very mobile, you gotta be on the balls of your feet, moving a ton, stick and move, just like, you know, Duke, Apollo Creed's coach from Rocky would say, stick and move, stick and move, stick and move, you gotta stick and move. So we'll see how this next round unfolds. All right, Mayhem gets a little bit of an extra wipe down there. He's certainly breathing heavy. Uh, again, the, the weight doesn't look terrible on him. He didn't, he didn't even only cut a couple of pounds, but he's certainly breathing heavy after that first round. But do you think Mayhem put the opening round in the bank? Yeah, he definitely did. Let's see what his approach is this round. Matias Gillian came out with the strike, and I, Mayhem Miller drove through right to the ground. A kick would be the last thing I would have told Matea to throw. I would have told him, for the first minute and a half, run so much this crowd boos. Run so much they boo, thrust up your feet in the floor and hit him with a straight punch. Kicking should not be in his repertoire for this fight. He Matt Horwich calling out some instructions there, getting a little camera time. Mayhem Miller, top position. Oh, Matea oh, sweet. bucks him off. Triple hammer fist. Very nice. He's in this fight. He's here to win. He's not here to, to lose this fight. He wants to get a, a name win under his belt. He came up short just barely in his fight with my personal friend, Luke Barnett, looking to get that notable win tonight against Jason Mayhem Miller here in Venator Fighting Championship. Shivalin sprawling against the cage right now. Mayhem grinding where I'm sure Mayhem will sit in this position as long as the official will allow him to. Good takedown defense. Jack's on the hookup, gets the clinch. Nice elbow. Oh, and he throws a knee of his own. Oh, Uppercut. Right hand. Shucks him off. Oh, the Miller spinning elbow from with, Miller. With an unorthodox back fist, as he almost loses his mouthpiece. Ends up on top. Man, my Never fist. Can Mayhem get out of the position? Oh, straight punches from the top position. Matias all over him. They're telling him to fight on. Oh, 
both. Don't look to the ref. Yeah, I think Matia backed away thinking he had the fight in the bag. No, that's not what you want to do. Spin behind, spin behind. Looking for a Peruvian necktie. Oh, wow. what a tactical mistake. I w why did he not just punch away from there? Now Mayhem in top position. Could that be the breath of life that he needed? This fight looked like it was all but over. Oh, most definitely. I mean, I thought the ref was just about to stop it. What? You never want to turn to the referee, just like we saw tonight in the title fight. You lose this mouthpiece, you don't turn to the ref to do something. You just keep doing your job. Your job is to fight. Halfway through the second round here. Mayhem giving a reprieve. Referee calls strikes. Oh, wow, Mayhem does not, not like it. that. But hey, he wasn't working. Man, wipes away a little bit of blood. Looking, low. In, looking to load up on that right hand. Man, sucks him off. This is this the beginning of the end right here. Shulin's second chance to end this fight. Man, I'm trying to slip. Oh, slips right into a rear naked choke. It's on He snaps it in. Mayhem is in a lot of trouble here. He switches to a short choke. A lot of trouble. Mayhem trying to survive. And then he taps with the short choke. Very impressive by Mateus Giavolin. Gets that notable win. Finishes Jason Mayhem Miller with a beautiful short choke. Awesome performance. Awesome. Mayhem disappointed with himself. As you said, he was bobbing and weaving, trying to stay away from the punches. And instead, Giavolin did a good job timing it and got the arm right under the net. You know, while Mayhem wait, while he may physically look like he's in shape, you can tell he definitely take this, didn't take this camp very serious. It's unfortunate. He's still a fan, and hopefully that, uh, hopefully his next fight he can change, make a few adjustments, and maybe come back to Venator, get another shot at a big fight. Well, it's been four years, and, and he's back in the cage. He's got that behind him. Now it's time to make a decision. What comes next? Does he want to continue fight? If he does, he needs to cut weight. He needs to go to the weight that he's contracted. He needs to take it serious. It's obvious that he didn't take it serious. There were, there were rumors out there that he might have trained. Uh, gave a game effort, actually ended up winning the opening round on our card. But Matias Chivalin to step up and fight a light heavyweight, survive, survive some early trouble, and an impressive finish. You know, and it's unfortunate. Mayhem's got a lot of fans, a big following, and just kind of lets them down, yeah. you know. And, and nonetheless, yeah. still got a lot of respect for him, what he's done for the sport. But, you know, he definitely needs to do some, some regrouping and figure out what his next move is going to be. Let's go to the referee to make this official. The referee has called the stoppage at 3 minutes and 10 seconds of the second round, declaring the winner by submission. Stay tuned. We still got three big fights. Four big fights. Look at that. I forgot. Four big fights.